Camera gear doesn't matter, but yet it matters so much. Let me explain. See, I feel as though everyone thinks the bigger camera, the better, which in some cases, maybe, if you know how to use it, which is my first point. If you're getting cameras that you don't know how to use, what's the point? It's gonna sit on the shelf and you're not gonna use it at all, period. You're just not. However, there comes a time when you want a new challenge. See, it's okay to invest in a camera as long as you're willing to put in the time to learn it. For an example, all of my entire life, I have been, actually that's false. Most of my filmmaking journey has been shot on Canon. However, in the past, I have had a few Sony cameras. My first point-and-shoot camera was a Sony, and then I had a Sony A5000. And then I kind of just went to Canon. I got Canon SL2, I got Canon M50, because Canons were all the rage back when I was learning about YouTube. So obviously I got Canon cameras. However, there's been a shift in the past three years that Sony has just been coming out with killer cameras. The Canon M50, which you are on right now, you are seeing the image quality, the everything I have set up for it. I got this four years ago, this camera. So, you know, after going out and making some money with this and paying off this camera in full, I decided to go ahead and buy myself a new camera. I've learned all about this camera and the camera system and I wanted a new challenge but also I wanted it in the right price range so that is why I picked up the Sony a7c it was right in my price range I can shoot s-log now and learn all about that and color grading and it's full frame camera and it's not too expensive Our gear doesn't matter but it matters this past summer, I was a videographer of two. Uh, it was me and this other dude. We were doing, you know, the camp videos. And I previously had experience with camp videos last summer, or the summer before, when it was just me. And, you know, he came with a Sony FX3, you know, beautiful footage, beautiful quality. But, you know my camera was the Canon M50 and it did just fine for footage I was producing at that point. It wasn't a movie, it wasn't a cinematic masterpiece, it was you had to get a video every week capturing what went around camp. And this camera performed just fine. I didn't need a $3,000 camera for that. You know, your camera gear doesn't matter. It's more about the story. It's more about what you're using it for. I say when it comes to camera gear, get what you're gonna use, get what you need it for. If you feel like you have outgrown a camera and you want to learn about something new, then I feel like it's okay to invest in yourself and get something that is challenging to you and something that you want to learn about. That's my view and opinion on camera gear and how it doesn't matter and how it's all about the story but also I see the other side of things where like if you're bored with a camera and you want to try something new and you have that money the savings go for it just make sure it doesn't sit on your shelf so today I have work from 12 to 5 so that will be interesting and right now I'm doing like all the video stuff and everything so there's that, and also, me and Haley might be going to a concert tonight. So, yeah. All right, 
guys, so this is what I'm having for lunch. Turkey, some uh, spicy chili sweet sauce, and avocado, and some everything bagel seasoning. When I tell you that this hits so hard, I'm telling you that this hits so hard. And I actually got it on my shirt that it hits so hard. Concentrate every minute like a Roman, like a man, on doing what's in front of you with precise and genuine seriousness, tenderly, willingly, with justice, and on freeing yourself from all other distractions. Yes, you can, if you do everything as if it were the last thing you were going to do in your life. And stop being aimless. Stop letting your emotions override what your mind tells you. Stop being hypocritical, self-centered, irritable. You see how few things you have to do to live a satisfying and reverent life. If you can manage this, that's all even the gods can ask of you. So we are going to a little concert and I'm going to photograph, photograph all the little artists and hopefully they'll like the photographs. I don't know, <laughs> but yeah, it's going to be fun. Hopefully I can get in with my cameras. I have my other camera in my pocket. Yeah, Haley's coming with me. She's being so supportive and such a good girlfriend. I love her. Oh